，因为像画家都是拿了画笔，像我们拿着这个焊枪也等于也跟画笔一样，哎，跟那个艺术一样嘛，自己说要尽心尽意啊。This is Yu Ji Lin, and this is his son, Yu Ling Yun. Together, they create incredible sculptures out of scrap metal. I was in the time in 2010. I came back and started to work together. This father-son duo got their start making models of transformers. 因为它这个变形金刚，它是说汽车变形变形的，肯定就是要用汽车的元素，用汽车的材料才会体现出汽车的那种元素出来。第一个模型差不多将近有一个半月吧，做第一个模型不是很大，有两米二。呃，我做的模型的时候，最高的有达到十五米。The father and son went on to expand the business beyond just transformers. And began building their own designs. 全部都是我们自己啊，凭自己的想象力去创造出来的。因为它每一个零件，它本身也是一个，也是一个艺术品。像像我们把这很多个小的艺术品，把它结合起来，成为一个大的一个艺术品。就是两个人在一起。呃，做事的话，可能在父子之间的沟通和感情方面呢，肯定会有一定的好处。啊、呃，在各方面吧，可能都对我的期望都很高。他就希望我把这个做得更好。反正有我是他们帮手的话，我也觉得也挺开心吧。在这一下，我始终想把他培养出来，能够。能敲过我吧，能信过我吧。我就是他的手，他就是我的眼。双手，我们两个人合伙种起来。我现在是从两千年代开，两千年开始啊，两只眼睛已经全部失明了，就是成盲人了。就是我我的伙伴啊，就是我的伙伴，就是贾文奇，他从小就没有双手。对了，他背着我这么十三年了，就是一直他就是这样，十三年背着我过河。我们两个吧，就是是最好最好的朋友。我们我跟这个贾文奇啊，就是、说我们从这个两千零二年开始种树吧。过去的时候，这个整正是满目的荒滩，满目的这个卵石，满目的这个荒沙。我们种这些树啊，也是种了为了这个环境，也是为了好歹。种树吧，我们也就成了我们今后的一个任务，也是一个一个重要的任务了。就是虽然我们经生活上困难一些，经济上困难一些，但是我们在精神上感到特别欣慰，就是。成活力就是长成树木的，就是一万多棵吧。树木，啊，就跟这也一呃，就是加这个一名名这个绿色的围兵，在这个不分昼夜的严整以待。哎呀，我们两个在一块干活的时候。说的我们根本就没有感觉，我们是残疾人
，我们就是一个、呃、团队。Asocias un poco los deportes a femenino y masculino, ¿no? La sincro actualmente hoy en día se ve aún un deporte femenino. Hay que romper barreras y en este caso pues me ha tocado a mí. Soy Pau Rives, tengo 22 años y me dedico a la natación artística. La natación artística era antes lo que era conocido como la natación sincronizada y es como el ballet en el agua. Para ser un buen sincronista tienes que saber nadar, obviamente, pero aparte pues tienes que tener otras cualidades que no tienen los de natación, ¿no? Por ejemplo, la flexibilidad, saber bailar, expresar con el cuerpo. Yo creo que es uno de los más difíciles, me atrevería a decir, a nivel de todos los deportes. Yo desde pequeño ya hacía natación y me topé un poco con la sincro viendo un espectáculo en Barcelona. Yo tenía siete años entonces, cuando lo vi me entró por los ojos, me encantó lo que vi. Cuando yo empiezo en la natación artística solo habían chicas, entonces me quedé un poco, wow, en plan un poco sorprendido, no, no, no me lo esperaba. Y el propio club también se quedaron un poco parados, ¿no? en plan, un chico que quiera hacer sincro es un poco raro, ¿no? Ha sido una lucha bastante dura porque, bueno, ya sabes, lo típico que te critican. Oyes comentarios. Eh, al principio, cuando yo empecé, no me dejaban participar en Depende de qué campeonatos. Estuve un tiempo parado, pero por suerte encontré a, a los Panteras Grogas. Las Panteras Grogas es una, una asociación LGTBI de chicos y chicas que Hacen muchos deportes. Su filosofía un poco de los Panteras Grogas es que todo el mundo de cualquier sexo, de cualquier mentalidad, es libre para hacer cualquier deporte el que quiera. Porque esto del sexismo también no solo pasa en la sincro, también está pasando en otros deportes. Entre todos nos tenemos que, que ayudar. Pau Rives también bueno, haciendo chicos. historia para España. A nivel internacional, en 2015, que realmente aprobaron que los chicos pudiéramos participar. A nivel olímpico aún no, no nos han aprobado. Llegar, si pudiera, a nivel olímpico y a participar en una Olimpiada ya sería... Mmm, lo, no va más, ¿no? Yo lo que espero como deportista es ir rompiendo barreras con, con todos los otros chicos, ¿no? Que somos alrededor del mundo. Al final es estar en el agua, que para mí es lo mejor que pueda haber, ¿no? O sea, yo es como mi segunda casa, el agua, en un estado de libertad. Pops, the mentor. <laughs> and I, I'm, 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 I'm Nicole Paris, the princess. <laughs> Beatboxing is just simply making sounds with your mouth, making music with your mouth. When beatbox came to St. Louis in the early 80s, it was always about emulating what the DJ did. So I just started perfecting my skill as I got older. And then my wife, she gets pregnant with Nicole. So I would beatbox up against the belly and Nicole would start twisting. So you would see my wife's belly almost like boom, boom, boom. She liked it. She thought it was funny and cute. And then as Nicole got bigger in the belly, it wasn't cute no more. At the age of 13 was my first talent show. I just went home and I said, Pops, I just joined the talent show. You're going to teach me how to beatbox. He taught me how to hold a mic, taught me how to breathe, taught me the basic beat. I went to the talent show, did that. They made me mad at the talent show. They was clapping off beat. And they was like. I then started to add my own thing 
to what he taught me. One night I came home from work and as I'm walking in the door, I heard her making all these strange noise. I had to tell her like, that's not beatboxing. No, don't do that, that's corny. I was like, what? This is when I had to realize and tell myself, look, this is what she wants to do. Me and Pops, we be boxed anywhere, all day. Don't it's even make just, a difference. No, it, it really don't. We be boxed while cooking, barbershop. When we are ready to be boxed, it literally it happens. doesn't matter. If you go to her YouTube channel, you will see us sitting down, beatboxing. And to some folks, it can look like a competition. We're not really battling. It's just this just jam session. Just us having fun. This this is how I bond with my child. Even though, even though 160 I, million even people be I like, Pop, she lost. Pop, loser. I want her to be the best. I want her to to outdo me. Not in outdo me like as in a battle, but I want her to just just continue to grow and add to beatboxing. My ultimate goal is just to have my name up there with my dad's name when they're picking some of the best drivers in the industry to work on a big car show. You know, I don't want to be the best woman driver, the best black woman driver. I want to be the best driver. One I need... of the best drivers. Okay. Don't get too cocky. Because then I ain't going to be able to work. <laughs> You're so <laughs> funny. My name is Brianna Lynch. I'm 21 years old and I've been a stunt driver for four and a half years. My name is Jaleel J. Lynch. I'm her dad and I've been in the business for 27 years. All the dangerous stuff that the cars are doing in the movies, all the exciting stuff, we do that and not the actors. So a couple of the films that I worked on are Black Panther, Proud Mary, Fast and Furious 8, Beyonce's music video hey, Formation, baby. and Creed. And that's me and my dad right there. I got started in the business doing New Jack City. I've done all the Fast and Furious series since number four. In Jumanji, and I'm one of the guys up there on the bike. Yep, that's me right there. So cool. Because I am the coolest 12 dad ever. When my dad and I are working together, we actually like to help each other set the cars up. So when I have to do something like sliding around the corner, my dad is right there with me trying to make sure that everything is set up. So I think that's what makes my dad and I really unique. I got into stunt driving because of my dad. He taught me how to ride when I was three years old. He's been teaching me my entire life. He's so good at what he does and so respected in this industry. So since I started stunt driving, he has been my motivator, my coach, my teacher. He's everything but my accountant, pretty much. Bang. One of the things that I had learned by riding with her all the time was that she was able to handle the pressure. Three, two, one, action. As much as people don't believe that you're inside a car, when they explode, people are in those vehicles. So it's a lot to let your kid go and be in danger. I guess part of being a parent and part of being in the stunt business, we do as much as we can to keep her as safe as possible. And then after that, you wish for the best. I love that I get to share stunt driving with my dad. I think that's a really cool bond that the two of us have. My dad and I have always been very close. He's very supportive of me chasing down this dream that I have. And if you want to be good at something, you have to put the time in. It's important for you to enjoy your life and to actually love what you're doing. That's the biggest picture at the end of the day.